Hello, this is how to play Princess Rosanna Drowned in the Clyde. Um, it's from an EP I released called Very Interesting Extras. It's part of the Very Interesting Persons album that I released in 2015. Um, I'll <laughs> keep pointing the wrong way. I'll put something up here or up here, a link to buy the song if you don't know it. It's on the internet to buy, it's on iTunes and and Bandcamp and things like that, or you could be a right tight bastard and you could listen to it on Spotify instead. Um, okay, here's the... It's basically off a rolling bass thing, so what I mean by that is... I've dropped the D, so I'm going D, D. And the tune goes... Do, 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 So you need to be able to get that going at that kind of speed. So the wee tune goes so it's actually you know that D shape up here it's actually that D shape but what makes it interesting is I slide up so it's actually you could just put that D shape on, on go and then I move that whole shape down a fret a fret two frets even so if I go so you're going that's a <laughs> and every time I played it, I played it different. <laughs> well, actually, I don't really do the rolling bass at all. That was total crap. I had no idea. I thought I did. Thought it was better than I actually am. There you go. So I'm actually I'm just doing that, which is even easier, isn't it? And you'll probably hear it's going thump thump instead of nice ringing sound. That's because I'm using the fat bit of my hand because I have lots of fat there to to mute the string. So there you go, you're sliding from the 5th up to the 7th on the B string and you're going whatever note that is, I don't even know what these notes are. I think that's an A. No idea. That's probably a D. <laughs> Again, no idea. Well, it might be an A, oh, who knows. So that's that riff, that shape. You're going to repeat that down two frets. You there's it up here on the fifth and seventh, and you're going to do it again. That's me doing it on the um, third and fifth, and then the last bit is um, just those two fingers there sliding up. So that's my. Um, second finger on the third fret of the B string and my third finger on the fourth fret of the G string. Sliding that up. And a wee pull off. And then the, that note that you're hearing sounding there is the is that um, D on the on that is a D isn't it? Yeah, on the B string. So you're ending up kind of in a D position. Um, are all my teaching videos this good and this sleek? Yes, they are. Um, this is the only one. So <laughs> I don't have much to compare it to. So that's the first bit of the song. So you're doing that riff. And it's going to come in after the, the verses and the choruses and stuff. After the choruses, probably. So the chords for the verse are, are that D, well, I would say D5, but I think I do play the E string, so effect, officially it's D sus 2. Princess Rosanna, graceful and tall. No idea what that's called. D flat 5, maybe? Sounds great, though. Princess Rosanna, graceful and tall. And then I'm doing a G shape, which is this, because obviously I've dropped my D, so if you play there, you don't get... That's where your G is there. Was she pushed or did she fall? And these fingers here are kind of just picking on. So 
so I'm not picking the E string. So that's Prince, Princess Rosanna, graceful and tall. Then I hit the E string. Then back to G. Pushed or did she fall? Didn't make the front page an inch or two inside. There's that going back to make that. Call it D flat five, whatever it is. G five. And then you go back to I mean, I guess the beauty of this is you can just pause it and go back and, and check that stuff out. So the next, so you've got your intro there, then you've got the verse, and then the last section, well actually I have to do it in two bits as well. So you've got the kind of middle eight where it goes, um, Underneath Jamaica bridge wet paint runs down the wall. So that's a C. I call the C with the B bass. And then D5. Spine and stone holds the key. So I went C, C with a B bass, and then I use this all the time. It's uh, someone called it the Nashville scale. I have no idea what it's called, but it's dead handy. I use it all the time. So it's an A7, but I'm playing it with my second and third finger, and then I do like an A minor shape in the wrong place, A minor seven shape in the wrong place. And then I do that A7 shape again here. So it's going, these all have names actually, that's called A7, you may have heard of it. That's it, B minor 11. And that's called something else, C6 maybe. Anyway. So if I go from the top, it's on, uh, Jamaica bridge with Runs down the wall. Every, every stanchion, spine, and stone holds the key. And then I go, the truth, it floats on out to. And then I go back into the riff. So if I do that bit again, call that the middle eight. Underneath B bass. I guess it's D5 because I'm not playing the E string. Then that C, B bass, and then the Nashville thing. And then I do it again. Truth, it floats on out to. Then you've got your riff. another verse you know how the verse goes it's very easy um, and then I do this like extended middle eight bit so underneath Jamaica bridge wet paint runs down the wall every stanchion span and stone holds the key I go to G it's sprayed on like a to D G Seven sus four. I'm back to the riff. Now what I'll do is I'll put links. <laughs> I'll put links up here somewhere to the, to the various things. I'll put words underneath and chords like a rough chord chart. So like for example that A thing. I'll just call A7 Nashville and this thing here I'll just call the riff I'm hoping there's enough information there any questions um, sign my mailing list any questions buy one of my CDs um, I you could also I guess you could put questions underneath or you could tell me to go fuck myself I don't mind cheerio